show chapters Wall Street set for a muted open 13 hours ago, 054. Check out the companies making headlines before the bell. Dow DuPont CEO Edward Breen will become executive chairman of the specialty products company, resulting from Dow DuPont's plan split into three companies next year. That unit will take the DuPont name. It had been previously announced that current Dow DuPont executive Jim Fitterling will become CEO of Dow Chemical. The name Dow DuPont will take when the other two companies, to be known as DuPont and Corteva, Agriscience, are separated. American Express, the financial services giant was upgraded to overweight from equal weight at Stevens, saying Amex is successfully increasing merchant engagement and driving payment volumes higher. Bed Bath & Beyond, the household goods retailer stock was upgraded to market perform from underperform at Raymond James, saying that sales results should reflect an improved consumer environment. Lululemon, the athletic apparel maker stock was upgraded to outperform from market performance. Wells Fargo, which said the company's momentum is likely sustainable well into 2019. Tesla, Tesla CEO Elon Musk said the automaker was in delivery logistics hell, but added that the company was making rapid progress and that the issue should be solved shortly. Meredith Corp. Meredith sold its Time Media brand to Mark and Lynn Benioff for $190 million. The Benioffs are purchasing Time, personally, and the deal is unrelated to Salesforce.com, where Mark Benioff is chairman and co-chief executive. Campbell Soup, Campbell and activist hedge fund third point filed separate preliminary proxy materials urging shareholders to vote for two completely different board nominee slates. Third Point has criticized the food maker's current board and management for failing to implement moves to improve the company's performance. Teva Pharmaceutical, Teva's migraine drug Ajovi was approved by the Food and Drug Administration. Teva said the drug should be available in about two weeks. Unilever, Unilever's ninth largest shareholder, Aviva Investors will vote against the consumer goods giant's plan to move its headquarters to the Netherlands. According to the Financial Times, Tronk, Tronk is in early stage talks to be acquired by rival newspaper publisher McClatchy. According to sources quoted by the Chicago Tribune, Tronk owns the Tribune and other major newspapers. New York investment firm Donorail Group has been in talks to buy Tronk since early August with sources saying that Donorel has offered between $19 and $20 per share. Amazon.com Amazon is investigating suspected data leaks and bribes of its employees. According to the Wall Street Journal, such moves can give an edge to independent merchants who sell their products on Amazon. Separately, a city analyst report suggests that Amazon could announce in the coming years that it will split. Its retail and Amazon Web Services businesses. Fiat Chrysler, the automaker is looking at other potential buyers for its Magneti Marelli parts unit, according to a Bloomberg report. After viewing a bid by KKR as too low. Correction. This story has been updated to show that Tronk owns the Tribune and other major newspapers. But not the Los Angeles Times.